All right, I have one last one for you. Get this camera to behave. Verisois. Just actually silkworms, but this packaging is in French. Yay for me. Um, I feel like I may have had silkworm larva before. These are actually the pupa, although I can't find any information on eating the larva, so it may have been a different larva that I'd eaten. Um, they have common names in Korea and Vietnam, which I'm totally going to butcher in Korea. It's Biondegi, which is a completely wrong pronunciation, I'm sure. In Vietnam, Con Nhang, something like that. Um, so these are actually the silkworms that are used to produce silk. They're the worms of the domesticated silkworm, or silk moth, and they feed on, hopefully I'm not crushing any too bad, they feed on mulberry, and my understanding is what they do is boil the cocoons in order to harvest the silk. Wow. Or actually, you can see that it's kind of stuffed with these things. It's not a small envelope. Actually, all the way down there. So they boil the cocoons, is my understanding, to harvest the silk, and then the pupa are just a byproduct of the silk industry and they're edible, so they're either eaten boiled with spices or they are roasted, which is common in China and I believe in China they're roasted, in a lot of other places they're boiled it's actually looks like there's still some silk on there actually fibers which you'll never be able to see with my crappy cam. And apparently one of these guys will produce a single strand of silk that is 1,000 to 3,000 feet long. Again, all of these are boiled and dehydrated. So, nothing like eating fresh. Good. I want to say it's kind of a, a fishy taste almost. Maybe of a hint of seaweed. I think with something like larva, which was the case with the sago worms, and then with these, is they're just so fatty that dehydrating them kind of just turns them into nothing. Oops, that's happening. Brush is definitely the way to go with any larva. They just don't hold up to the drying process. Now, this is the kind of thing that you could probably get at an Asian market. Perhaps in the freezer section. I went to the big Asian supermarket here just the other day and I looked briefly but I didn't find any insects. 
but I may go back again and have a bigger look or I might go to some of the smaller Asian markets where they have a little more specialty type items or specific to countries specific countries there's one that caters to Thai and Vietnamese and since that's where a lot of these are coming from that might be a good one to look at they're good but fresh would be better There are a lot in here, so I'm not going to sit and make you watch me eat them all. There are less in here. This is to get all of your larva and pupa in the fresh form. It's better that way. Probably that way for most things, really. The scorpions are really good, despite the preparation. The other ones didn't really hold up to the drying as well. Definitely the scorpions out of these four are my favorite. The silkworms were actually, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, they were a bonus, which I find Thailand Unique does quite a bit. You order a few things and they'll throw in an extra gift. So that wasn't actually one that I paid for. It's probably, of these four, probably my second favorite. The scorpions definitely take the cake. Followed by the saga worms. The giant bu water bug I really wanted to like. But tried like this, it just didn't have much to it. Flavor wise or meat wise. So I guess I'll have to uh, take a trip to Thailand so I can try these things fresh. That's it for me for now. You can get more information about all of these lovely insect snacks at uh, Entomophagy Wiki. I am the uh, founder and curator there. You're welcome to come contribute anything you'd like and learn more about all of these delicious goodies. Bugnobster, signing out.